This is the city. The city of Absalom. The city at the center of the world. Absalom is celebrating the Radiant Festival, a three-month festival of epic proportions held once every hundred years. The celebration attracts all types. Tourists, performers, merchants, inventors, as well as unsavory types, petty thieves, gangs, cults, and criminal enterprises. That's where we come in. We protect and serve. We are the agents of Edgewatch. Hey everyone, welcome to Roll for Combat Agents of Edgewatch. I'm your GM and host, Stephen Glicker, and in this week's episode, the agents managed to somehow successfully get away with the heist. But now they need to find out where the MacGuffin has gone. So in this week's episode, we have a little bit of bookkeeping, and then a little bit of adventuring, and then a little bit of bookkeeping. I used to actually cut these bookkeeping episodes, and also when they level up, but a lot of people complain, so I've been keeping them in. I don't always keep in everything, but at least keep in tidbits so you can hear what the PCs are talking about and deciding upon, because I do find it pretty interesting. I know I've listened to other actual plays, and they used to just cut it out 100%, and I can see why, but then suddenly when the PCs had different equipment and powers from week to week, it was a little bit confusing for me. So that's why I decided, you know what, I'll keep it in. And to be honest, it's actually pretty funny because you can hear this week on how the money is different for the party. Or rather, John Stats is crazy rich and everyone else is not. And they have to decide how to spend the money. It's actually pretty funny this week. So I kept that in. I just want to reiterate just how much fun we had with the heist. Just to let you know, that heist actually took about a month to do. It was quite a long ordeal because it took maybe four or five sessions. And I like that. I like when something takes multiple sessions so you can take your time. You don't feel like you have to rush it. That's one of the issues with combat is that often you don't want to have combat go from week to week. You want to end combat before the night is over most times. It can be very confusing to pick up combat in the middle of another week because you just might forget what was going on, especially if it's more than a week. I mean, it could be several weeks or a month, and then no one remembers what was going on, and it just breaks the whole flow. There is an exception to that, and that is when you have a very, very long combat, like at the end of an adventure or when you're fighting a major boss. In that case, and I've spoken about this in the past, I like to make those combats into phases, and then what I usually do is that I end sessions when one phase is going into the next phase. For example, like you might have a multiple phase combat with a boss. Phase one might be that you fight the minions. Phase two is that you fight the boss. And then phase three is you fight the boss in his true form. So maybe phase one is the first session. And then after the PCs defeat the minions, then you start phase two, which is the boss gets involved, and then you end the session. So that way everyone has something to look forward to next week. And then phase two can be the boss fights. And then if you don't end it that week, then you can have, oh, well, the boss isn't really dead. He's evolving to his true form. And then that's the final boss fight in phase three, which would be the next session. This actually happened when we were doing the heist, is that the heist had, well, multiple parts to it so I just was able to break it up into different parts and different aspects. What I would really like to know is if anyone else out there is playing Agents of Edgewatch, how did the heist go for you? Because every single person and every single party is going to do that heist completely differently. The whole thing with Lo Mang actually working in the kitchen versus the bodyguards versus how they snuck into the vault and even the whole thing in the end all that with Gage Carlisle all that was made up on the fly none of that was in the adventure so I would actually really love to know how your party got out of that and what they experienced if you can go to the Roll for Combat Discord channel just go to discord.rollforcombat.com I would love it if you can just share your experiences because that is always going to be different for everyone. I mean, combats, yeah, sure. Sometimes people ex share experiences. If they fight something really hard, it's like, oh, we fought that gibbering Mouther and we all died, or we fought this and this is what happened. But this is an entire sequence of events that will never be the same for anyone. I would love to hear how it went for other people. As for the next part of the adventure, well, wouldn't you know it, they got no closer. After all of that, 
there, no closer. You gotta be really careful when you do that. I was actually kind of surprised Paizo even did that, because can you imagine you spent all this time, all this effort, you're spending weeks, if not months, getting ready, you finally get in, you open up the lockbox, and it's empty. And if you heard them, they didn't believe it. They, they didn't believe it was empty. It's one of those, are you kidding me? Even when I read it, I was like, oh my god, it's empty. Are you kidding me? That is quite a conundrum. You gotta be careful with that. I can see that putting off a lot of players, making people not want to play anymore. You just gotta know your party. And my guys, they're fine. I mean, yeah, they were a little disappointed, but I quickly gave them multiple leads. I know them well. I know how they operate. It's like, wait, 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 don't give up hope. You got some leads. Here's some information. You can find who stole it. And that's what you got to do. You got to keep the ball moving, especially if you just pulled the rug from under your PCs. You got to give them breadcrumbs right away because you can't be too despondent. They can't get too in the dumps. Otherwise, they're going to get soured to the game very quickly. So be very, very careful if you're going to do something like this in your game. I'm just telling you that right now. I will say the next part of the adventure is interesting. Also, for those of you who are younger, you're probably going to learn a lot because there's one thing about this group. You probably noticed this about us. We have known each other for 20, 30 years, and we watch all the same movies. We all were raised at the same time, and most of us were from New York, which means that anything that was playing on Saturday or Sunday mornings in this area, there was Kung Fu Theater, and we also had like Sunday night movies and Saturday night movies and all this stuff. We all saw the same movies. We were all raised on the same pop culture. So when someone references an obscure movie from the early 70s, we've all seen it, or most of us have seen it. And you're welcome. You can learn all about popular culture from the 70s and 80s before there was something called superhero movies. And I tell you, a lot of these movies that we mentioned, check them out. They're not bad. They're not great, a lot of these movies. And they're definitely dated. But you can see at the time, they were definitely ahead of the curve. And they were going somewhere. So when we talk about some of the movies that we mentioned this week, check them out. Again, not masterpieces in any way, shape, or form, at least for cultural time capsules where you get to see what life was like in the 70s. And it's really weird. <laughs> I lived through it. I mean, I don't really remember it too well, but damn, it was even weird back then. I remember that. And the 80s, oof, boy, the 80s. The 80s was just damn fun. That was the best thing about the 80s. It was fun, fun, fun. Anyhow, with that, let's get to show notes. Show notes this week, we had an amazingly successful YouTube show this week. If you didn't catch it, myself, Mark, and Nonat, we sat down and talked about why D&D people were talking about Pathfinder. And it was great. It was a really good show. You can check it out. Just go to youtube.rollforcombat.com. You can check out the show. Give it a like if you can. Please subscribe to the channel. Nonat had a great time. I had a great time. And the topic was really interesting. I'm definitely going to have Nonet on the show more often, and we're also trying to set up a few other guests to show up on the show because, well, everyone had a good time. Why not do it all the time? I don't know if there's going to be a show this week. It's because I am actually going to be at Gamma, and Gamma is a trade show where everyone in the role-playing and gaming community gets together and sells their wares to distributors and warehouses, and there's manufacturers there. It's, you know, a trade show just for people in the industry. I've never gone to it. I've heard about it a long time. There was no reason for me to go to it. I'm going this year. I'm very excited. Hopefully be able to get the Battle Zoo books out into the public, maybe get them into big places, maybe into like the Barnes and Nobles of the world, things like that. By the way, the book is going to be on Amazon, so you will be able to get it there. Again, I need to actually get the physical books in stock, and I know they're again shipped from China. I just got the notice, so again, I say it every week. I'm like, they're getting shipped, they're getting shipped, they're getting shipped. The good part about this is eventually the books will be in stock, and I'll never have to say this again. And I'll be just like, yes, the books are in stock, you can get them now. But at least in the meantime, we got to keep doing what we're doing, which is, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting like you. As for the Dragon Book, I am putting together the lore pages right now. These are the final lore pages. They've gone through editing. I've been laying them out. That's about half the book. 
Also, I did a preview of the book in the latest show I just mentioned on YouTube. So if you want to check that out, you can see me and Nonat and the book. Later in the episode, I actually hold up a preview. You can actually see at least the lore pages. The feats are taking a little bit longer. Those are going through proofreading. They're going through playtesting. There's over 300. It's a lot. So everyone is giving their two cents. We're editing them, going through them very carefully. And again, we are still on track to hopefully have the book out by the end of March. And this is the Pathfinder version of the book. Everyone's asking, is this Pathfinder or 5A? The good news about the 5E version is that it should hopefully come out fairly quickly because we only have to do half the book. The lore part's done. The lore part's not really going to change too much for 5e. We've got to change some of the information about the classes. We have a little paragraph in there for each dragon and which dragon is best for each class. So that we're going to have to update, but otherwise the lore is more or less going to stay the same. So again, if you want to check that out, just go to battlesuit.com and you too can get your dragon book as soon as it comes out. And then of course, I can't forget RPG Superstar. I keep forgetting about it. There's just so much going on. Go to RPG Superstar March 15th. That is the date where the grand prize winner, the platinum, the gold, the silver, and the copper winners are all announced. And you will be in the next Battles You Best Diary, Strange and Unusual. And you're asking, when is that going to come out? Well, here's the good news. We have everything templated. We got it all figured out. The first one took forever. As soon as we have the winners announced... We're going to start working on the book immediately. We're going to start working on the book, start getting the artwork in. I have all the artists ready. This should go much faster. And then, of course, I will be doing the Kickstarter this summer for this book as well as others. Make sure you pay attention on the Discord channel or just go to rollforcombat.com, sign up for the newsletter. You will always be in the know of what's going on with this new Kickstarter. And trust me, you're going to want to know about this. I didn't hire Mike Seifter to have him sit around and just do dragons. We have new books coming out. One of these books, which is the whole reason and what Battle Zoo is, I've been planning for years. And Mark and I have been talking about for years. So you're going to find out what Battle Zoo means. I think you're going to like it. We're also setting up a ton of people to help out with this. You're going to hear about this Kickstarter one way or another. I promise you that. This thing is going to be everywhere. Anyhow, back to RPG Superstar. For those of you who didn't make it, here's the good news. We did the RPG Superstar 2021 really late. So the new one, 2022, we're going to start it up pretty soon. We're going to have to because I don't want it to always go from one year to the next. And RPG Superstar from beginning to end takes about six months. So if you do the math... So if I wanted to end sometime in 2022, I got to do it now. I got to do it very soon, or at least by June or July, if I actually wanted to finish in 2022. So be on the lookout for that very, very soon. We might change it up. We're definitely going to have a different theme this time. I actually like Strange and Unusual because we definitely got a lot of really weird creatures. But this time we're going to mix it up. We're going to do something very different. I saw a lot of ideas on the Discord channel. A lot of people wanted to do cute stuff. The problem with cute stuff is you either love cute stuff or you hate cute stuff. So it can't just be uh, all cutie things. You know, it can't just be all Gamayan and Leshies. It has to be a mixture. Don't worry, we'll come up with a category and we'll come up with something that appeals to a large number of people, but it's definitely going to be very different than what you've encountered, at least in the last two Battles of Best Series. So be on the lookout for that in the near future. Also, don't forget, check out the Patreon. Just go to Patreon at RollForCombat.com. I promise you, I'm going to talk to Mark. He's going to start updating the Patreon in the very near future. He's already very, very busy, but he's catching up. I really wanted him to get Dragons done because that I wanted to get out as soon as possible. Once Dragons is mostly done and it's more or less very close to being done, he'll have a lot more time in his hands and then he can help out. I mean, he already writes the newsletter. He already posts on Reddit on a regular basis. He already talks to everyone, but now I also at least want him to do something monthly for the Patreon, especially for the $5 level where everyone gets the episodes early and more importantly, you could actually chat with us live when we play the shows. And then, of course, don't forget, do check out the Discord channel where you can play games, hang out with us, talk with us. Just go to discord.rollforcombat.com. Check out the YouTube channel, youtube.rollforcombat.com, where we have a weekly show. And it hasn't been every week because first I'm on a vacation. I'm going to Gamma. I don't know if I can do the show at Gamma because I really need a high-speed connection. I have no idea what the hotel Wi-Fi is going to be like, so I don't know if that's going to be possible. 
but I am not going anywhere for several weeks, so the show should be on a regular basis going forward, and that's every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then, of course, don't forget, do check out RollForCombat.com, where Jason posts a recap of every single episode. Whew, that was a lot. Anyhow, with that, let's get to this week's exciting adventure. Last we left off, you managed to pull off the heist of the century by infiltrating the casino, getting down into the vault, opening the vault, subduing a very sexy temptress who's very much into bondage, Basil, mm, and finding a whole lot of nothing. But then you managed to work your way into the good graces of the owner who seems to have known that you were up to no good. But both of you did a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. And next thing you know, you're back at the, well, not the Edge Watch. You're back at Star Watch, where you have a lead. A lead of some Franca Lawrence. Who that is, what that is, what that person will do, who knows. But that's all you got. That's all you got. And you know there's some poison involved. Poison that made animals sick. It's probably going to make people sick too. And you're resting. You're relaxing. You're taking some time off. Do you do anything? You're back at the station. She said, the captain said, take off the day. You can relax. She'll get back to you by tomorrow. And you're still level 10, by the way. I buy a potion. You what? You get I a buy potion. A, I buy a potion. You buy a potion. Just <laughs> yeah. one. Well, I just used one, and I need my twenty-five. Oh, you need your twenty. You're, <laughs> you're, you're and, like, and and, and I, I buy two scrolls. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll go through. I'll make a note. I'm not even gonna write. I'm not even gonna bother with that right now. Here we go. <laughs> Update potion. Let me write this out. Potions. And then I have and a hot chocolate, and I go to bed. Scrolls. <laughs> there you go. You you just like I'm gonna get a good book. Little hot chocolate, some warm milk, and tuck myself in and go nighty night. Could we uh, get a count on our uh, gold? Uh, no. How much we have to spend? No, because I totally forgot and I wasn't keeping good track of it. I knew someone was going to ask that. So let's well, get we have a day we... off. I mean, this is what I know. I know. I, I, say, I say we have three million gold. Well, in that case, you have you. You can think you have three million gold. I actually don't think you have three million, but you could say it. You hey, have it 300 makes copper. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Three million copper. Um, wait a minute. So we have a, a listing of our gold. No, no, actually I do. Hold on. I'm actually doing it. But I don't think we made any gold. Oh, uh, oh, 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 no, oh, oh, no. Someone, oh, oh, someone, no. Did a, someone did very, very, very uh, well yeah. at the casino table. I think that needs to be donated to the poor because that was you, you got that in an illegal way. I don't know if it's illegal. All right, let's go through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start going we... through. Let's see. We're gonna have to do this together a little because there was a lot going on. Um, okay, Gomez and Basil, you guys didn't get any gold the last, during that whole adventure, right? No, I don't think so. Oh, I got a little too. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Now, now we have one person did get some gold. It rhymes with fifteen hundred. Lo Mang. Did earn a couple of gold pieces for working in the kitchen. Honest day's work, exactly. Exactly. So let's give Lomang. I think that was approximately. I'll average it out. You were there for three days. I'll give you twelve gold pieces. There you go. Sounds wow. reasonable. Yeah, All right. Sound reasonable. reasonable. Yep. Okay, you got twelve gold pieces for three days work. On the other hand. Dougie McDougal, he did what I did in that casino in Vegas. Remember that day in Vegas, Chris? In less than one hour, how much money did I make? <laughs> Playing poker. Playing poker. I do remember that. Oh yeah, remember, I, I don't it. remember how much you made, but you made you won you won you did well. What are you I, talking I made about? three times the limit of the table. That's what I made. That's what I. That's we were playing poker in Vegas. And when was this? This was. Ten years ago, yeah, it's me and Bob. And me, yeah, Bob, Steve, Dave. Why was I Chris, there? 
you were you were working a blizzard and uh, we sat down and it was we a were max, working. it was a working vacation actually it, we was, actually, it was working vacation and it was yeah. a max bet of 300 i put down 300 and then 40 minutes later i walked away with 900 plus dollars that's all i know he made some kind of call with like he's high or something if I, I was know. killing everyone <laughs> and then there was that one moment when chris and i were both in the pot together and I gave Chris that look of don't do it, and he did fold because he knew I would have kicked his ass. <laughs> right. and I would have. I was like, thank you. I Good God. To Steve like, passed out into his own mic. I did pass out into my own mic because I was so excited. <laughs> he, was laughing so, he was laughing so hard he passed out into his own mic. That's it was impressive. It was impressive. And wait, this is the best part. You know what is, do you have one of our microphones? Wait, wait, or is wait. Is that a different wait, mic? Wait, wait. Here's the best part. I got to see the system in action. I saw him do the system for oh, the, roulette. Oh, the, the roulette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We oh, all God. saw it. The silly and system. it did not work. Or rather, it worked as intended, which means it didn't work at all. And Bob was having a field day. Oh, God, was Bob having a field day. It didn't work that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work when someone else is watching. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's the system much. again? So you could share your system with the world for roulette? No, okay. it's not. A... It's very simple. Right now, which I haven't done it in a long time because I haven't gone to a casino in a while. Uh, I don't like these casinos around here. But anyway, uh, I put $50 on the following numbers. 5, 8, and 16 through 21. Okay. That's it? That's the whole That's system? It. That's it. <laughs> I, I thought it was more complicated. <laughs> well, I mean, the, 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 the time that... Wow. There is a time well, when you... you... You're right, Dad. That's foolproof. Why did I think of that? <laughs> I, I, did, I, did, I did have a similar system just to support you in that. Like, I did have a similar system, which was you just bet an amount on one number. I bet, that, I, I I bet the amount... You don't. I may up the bet. I may, if I lose a round, I down to 25. And then I, if I can make like three grand, then I leave. So, so I'll either lose like 800 or I'll win three grand. That's the system. I have a very good system. I play poker. Yeah. That's, that's my good. system. And that, that actually, that right there is like why roulette sort of sucks. John seen me win too. John saw me win a tournament. It's because, it's because, it's because you can't have fun at it. It is kind of just like. You know, you bet a couple of numbers and you yeah, it's like the really. lotto. You might as well yeah, play the lotto. Yeah. yeah, you might as well play the lotto. Yeah, although I am going to go to World Series. My friend, he uh, he was Next in the money. Year? Yeah, he he was in the money. My friend really? in the yeah. main event. I bet you yeah. go to the World Series once, and then you'll see how boring it is. My friend goes every year. I'm going to go with him. So when I, I might go. Boring. I might go. With, I might go. That was I, the only problem is it takes it. a full week. That's that's I actually know. a problem. It's a very long. So. I won't do the main event, but I would do other events. I would do the I would do like the sep, the high low seven card stud high low. I would do a smaller no limit hold'em tournament. I would do a lot of the old man games like the uh, Raz maybe stuff that oh, people don't really know how to play. Raz is awful. It is literally the worst game. <laughs> I don't I don't player. understand how you could even play that game. It's so uh, bad. It's so good. I mean, it's not I don't, it's not my favorite, but I'm I'm better than most oh, at it. Yeah. Anyway, all I, all anyway, I, here I, is, I, I believe yeah. Dougie. I think I'm I'm doing the math. It looks like Dougie won. I'm looking at my notes. Here. It rhymes with. I don't know what does it rhyme with. Maybe you know. What it, is it rhymes rhyme? with fifteen hundred. <laughs> That's what I thought. You won fifteen hundred gold. Yes. No, well, it was but no. minus a little yes, bit. I... No, it was. I know. I think after fees. I have fifteen hundred. Okay, it is. It's fifteen hundred. Yeah, yeah. It's fifteen hundred. Very, gold. very well. I, I, I critted. Yeah, it's fifteen hundred. It's like I double critted. Okay, so the no. totals then are Gomez. Gomez is five hundred and nine. Low man is eight hundred forty-eight. Basil has seven hundred and seven, and Dougie has <laughs> two thousand five hundred and fifty-two gold pieces. Wait a minute. Hold that on a second. Sounds about right. Hold on. Time that out. Sounds about right. <laughs> Uh, there you go. There you go. Party gold. Yeah, party, party gold. Loot. Party loot. That's what I'm saying. Two words. Party loot. Hello. I want my cut. You. you that's between you guys. I'm just. The, I'm just the bookkeeper. 
You guys figure it Gomez, out. What's, this, what's up with this? <laughs> you take Dougie in the corner and like beat him up. Start breaking guys, some fingers. <laughs> you're noticing Dougie's walking around with a little bounce to his step, so his sides are going chink, 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 chink. Dougie has like a big old gold diamond pinky ring and he's wearing mm. one on each finger, no less. <laughs> he, he's making this 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 clinking sound on purpose to annoy you guys. Oh it would be God. a shame if someone reported to the captain that you cheated to get that money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't true. think I did, though. Did I? I think yes, you that, did. That wasn't an option. Yeah, you cheated. You was did it? cheat. I think no, I cheated on the uh, no, no. I cheated on the uh, raffle. The, the, the bidding. Oh, That's what God. I cheated. No, you cheated on the gambling. I thought you too. cheated at the gambling too. Yeah, you did. I was. I was. Oh wait, I forgot. I got to take the money cheat. away from you all from your get from uh, the raffle too. Well, but we didn't win. Yeah, we didn't bid on anything. Oh, and then you and it was the five hundred dollars that you had to. Uh, you had to actually. That's true. So you don't get it. But you did give five hundred dollar deposit. Five hundred for gold. the the for the bank vault. Right? Yeah, you did. Uh, Basil, that's 500 from you. So, Basil, he has what 207 the, left. No, 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 no. no. We, got, we also got money. Me. We got spending money. We got spent. That came out of the spending. We got a lot of money for spending. Like for costumes? No, well, no, no, no. For no, costumes? Was... Yeah, it was a lot. No, you did. But I'm talking about when you bought the lockbox in the. Uh, in the... Didn't you? You had to put something. It was like five hundred. We had a lot of there. money left because we only just did the costumes and we didn't do a lot of the other preparations. I, I thought did some that's really bad note taking. I had to take better notes. All right, I'm just no, going to watch. Steve it is all. right. We had to. We had to have something of value to put in there. But I thought it was just kind of like mysterious legal papers or something. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, like we'll put oh, in. No, the... It was a hundred dollar. No, no, piece. it was the it was the fee was for the service. The, right, the fee is a hundred gold pieces. That I know for a fact. So okay. you had to pay 100 gold pieces just to buy the lockbox. You then put fake papers in there so you don't lose anything. We but had at least yeah. that much left over from the uh, the money that we – the starting money. that The seed money for this was actually quite a lot. I remember being impressed by how much it was. Um, and hey, we whatever. didn't really spend that much on costumes. Like, like costumes was the only thing we spent on. All I know is the system for Dougie worked. Doggy has yeah, a system. Yeah. When, when you're gambling, it's good to roll uh, lots of very high crit numbers. Well, that, yeah, when you thing. cheat, oh, I know you used, you used your thievery. You did. Really, you totally did. Did I? Mm, yes. I can't did, remember you that. Did. You did. You totally cheated. Okay. You well, did. no one was there, so it doesn't count. <laughs> That's true. Oh, that's true. That's true. Except that's go to the video thievery tape. works. Go that's to the video thievery tape. works. You don't notice. I'm cheating. <laughs> Yeah, Dougie discovered his thieving roots. Remember those fun games with Seth that Bob would like pass notes saying I'm like stealing stuff from the other party members, Seth? <laughs> I remember how much fun that was and then we'd all kill each other before the adventure even started. Oh, those were the fun days of uh, yes. first edition D&D. <sighs> Anyhow... Dougie, are you going to be nice and spread the loot, or are you going to be... Hell no, hell no, hell oh no. Oh, my hell Lord! No. <laughs> okay, hell not, no, hell no, hell the, no. That's not the answer I expected. I, I, I don't even know that, what yeah. I... What do I... What do I even... Uh, I didn't know I was going to have that much. That's that's pretty good. I, I got to I gotta find something to Well, buy. there's the totals. I put it in handout, so... You know what? I'll buy that potion and Seth's two scrolls. There you oh! Go. Thank you. Oh, look there at that! Look at that. Making it rain. You got to uh, dance I for me. It. Dance for me. I'm making it rain. <laughs> I'll dance. Shake your money maker. My, I, I will reserve my dance to, for my somatic components to heal you. <laughs> That'll be my dance. And also, you should charge Steve, for healing. Can you, can you look up how much Good. a potion of resurrection costs? Because that's the potion I'm buying. Uh, yeah, I knew you would. I was going to recommend you buy you. It's like, oh, he's buying. Well, in that case. It's a potion of healing, actually. Uh, potion of moderate healing. Yeah, moderate healing. Uh, get three of those. Put three of those on my tab. All right. All right. Three sounds like a good number. They're all using So that them. someone will be... Actually, fuck that. Not potions. Fuck that. Scrolls. Potions. Well, you're getting both. We're getting potions. We're, we're finding potions. Of, of well, no, moderate. the potions of moderate are good because then you can self-heal. All right. Well, I, I, I'll get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll... I'll buy your moderate potion. We have moderate potions. Potions suck. It's the Well, maybe there's a better one than moderate. The scrolls are the... Oh, you can't buy one higher than your level, so you can get up to moderate. That's all you can Okay. Get. 50 gold pieces each. 
a pittance. <laughs> a pittance. Funny. Before you were like, oh my god, they're so expensive. Now you're like, 50 gold pieces. Actually, I'll let you buy that potion. Uh, I'll Give buy me three. a baker's dozen. I'm gonna. Is is there an equivalent uh, yes. scroll for moderate healing? Uh, well, it's just by level. I think level. it's the same. Cost. It's a level five. It's a level. One. Yeah, it's like a level five scroll. But I believe and all it's Dougie the exact had to do cost. was steal from the good people of Absalom by cheating. <laughs> Three potions of moderate. No, 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 no. Technically, he stole from the casino. It's no, you know what? Gold. No, yeah. Steve, Steve, stop, stop, stop. I'm not buying three potions. I'm buying three scrolls. Okay. If they're a comparable price, because they're the way more expensive, I think. Well, a scroll, a level five scroll, is 150 gold pieces per scroll. Uh, uh, level let's, five heal. Yeah, let's get a level five heal is way better than a moderate potion. Though. Oh god, yeah. Well, what's comparable? Because he can AOE. He can AOE it. He yeah. Can, yeah what's the mo- what's the comparable to the 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 the, the best really potion work. you can get is moderate. Oh, the yeah, level. yeah. The best one you can get. The next potion above that is level twelve, and it's we have to be level. higher level. We have to be yeah, next. We have to be level eleven. If the scrolls are different because they go they go. 4, 12, 30, 70, 150 gold. Oh, I thought they were... Oh, no, they're scroll. not the same. It's all different price structures. It's a trade-off, because the scroll is, is much more versatile and it's better. Much but better. But, but it's also, like, only he can use it. Like, no one else sure. can use it. Yeah, only one person can use yeah, it. Yeah, but he's not also carrying a weapon. Like, we have to put away the weapon, pull out the thing. And then not me. I don't have like, a weapon. It's, well, <laughs> that's, that's true. true. That is true. That's true. It's just the fact that some person loses all all three of their actions to pull out a potion. You, you want a like balanced a portfolio. You, you want, want a balanced, a balanced portfolio. portfolio. Yeah, you, that's you true. You want to invest we, in potions. And, and we in potions. have plenty of potions. Do we need more bonds? I don't even know what potions I have. I have so many. We have... You have... I actually know. You have three lesser healings and two moderate healings. Yeah, plenty. Yeah, Basil yeah, has four of each. Yeah, that's 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 like 12 turns of actions <laughs> worth of potions for healing. I do not have any fifth level healing scrolls. Nope, you have... Lomang has one fourth level healing scroll yep. and Gomez has one fourth level healing scroll. That's it. You have five third and four seconds. Uh, uh, honestly, got it. I got honestly got a decent in- investment would be uh a, would be two fifth level healing scrolls. That's okay. a pretty good investment. That would be, would like be a, good would be a decent, Sure. Yeah, all right. Well, that, yeah. Because so, there are because there are circumstances emotions. where you need to bring somebody all the way back as fast as fast as you can. Yeah. And yeah I might be okay. slotless. That that sounds good. In fact, what about do we have fourth level scrolls? I, yeah. I have a you fourth have, level scroll. Yeah. Okay. Lomang right. has one and Gomez. Has okay. One. Let's get. Yeah. Yeah. The two. The two I think, scrolls. I think, not I the think Lomang's one is the one I have. No. 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 Yeah, that's you, my... No. No. Lomang carries around his own. Oh. Oh. Personally. Yeah. Wait. No. I don't. For a scroll. No. No. You gave it to you gave it to Gomez, but it has your name on it. Right. It has my name on it. Right. right. So, so there's only so you one have scroll. Two there's, Gomez. Not two, there's not two scrolls. Let me. No. There is two. There is two. Lomang's, and you bought one for the party. So you have a party scroll for four Oh, level, you're right, you you're have, right. Here it is. And you have Lomang's personal scroll that he wrote his name on. It's That's like it. his bag lunch. So this is where I want to spend my money, okay? Okay. okay. Two, two fifth level healing scrolls. You got it. Okay, and a two weapon fourth room. level healing scrolls. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, for yeah? everyone, and everyone's name is on that except Lomang. You got it. Oh! <laughs> except on the fourth or the fifth or all of them? On the fourth. Okay. No, you're, you're, so you're, there's three. The fifth is for everybody. So there's three fourth level scrolls, and they all say not Lomang. And then there's one fourth level scroll that says only Lomang. That's yes. right. There you go. All right. So wait. So what am I adding to my character sheet? Heal me. You will have two fifth level scrolls. You have three fourth level scrolls that are not Lomangs. You have one fourth level scroll that's only Lomangs. And then you have five third and five second. Don't they have a new class that's like just scrolls? Or am I thinking of something else? I think you're thinking of something else. I think I'm thinking of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, so what is my new total for my monies? Wait, two uh, fifth level on. and a fourth level? Two fifth level and a fourth level. Two fifth level and two fourth level. Two fifth level, two fourth level. Okay. The pestle with the vessel is the brew that's true. Oh, God, Hero Lab. <laughs> I know they don't make it easy. It's something that should be so easy, and they make it not so easy. Um, Dougie has two thousand seventy-seven gold pieces left. Okay, that's more reasonable. That's more comparable to what everyone else has. Not really. 
No, like it's not. Four times you're, 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 you're still the chip moving leader on, by a moving wide on. Yeah, margin. Well, yeah, believe me, I won't bully you guys around. I won't buy and sell you like your comment. Are you going to walk around without your vaccine? Doug, Dougie is Steve Cohen. <laughs> oh, it's comparable to what the low market Steve is spending yeah, on yeah. payroll. Is Dougie rich or is he super rich? Which way should he ask? Oh, uh, that's right. It's the, are you rich or are you really rich? You're, you're the internet meme. <laughs> Does anyone do anything else on their day off other than Dougie torturing the party with his, well, with his wealth? Well, I'm looking for things to buy. So. I, I, I go out to have a meal that's not here. Actually, no, there's no mimic here making food, right? Nope. That's, okay, good. So. I spend my day very concerned about the uh, fate of the vest and wondering if I can reacquire it. The vest. Oh, the poor vest. Oh, yeah, you want that back, don't you? Oh, I need it back is what you Oh, mean. no. <laughs> can, we get, can we get him a day's worth of therapy? He needs it. Don't forget that deck of illusions, man. You got to use that thing one day. Oh, that's true. I think it's awesome. That creates illusions, right? So it's a deck, and you like throw it out, and it makes illusions. It's really neat. Now, when I did the when I did the uh, knowledge, did I do I know about the all of the vest's properties? Yeah, yeah. You so I know it's a curse, and I can possibly yeah. see about having it removed. Um, yeah. Uh, what's yeah. Out of ca- out of character, the vest is actually cursed, and I, if you have it at any point, it, you then become compelled to try to get it back. Oh, so that's what's going on. Yeah. Because, because, uh, where, because, what is the deal? Like, like, all right. So, since we're out of character, for a sec, for it, a like, second, I, I figured like, I'd like, explain rather than just keep being obnoxious about dropping hints about it without actually telling you guys what. Because, because that, because, let, let, I mean, let's not go into ad lib side quest land. That's not even part of the AP to to try to mock something up to get this vest. Yeah, no, he. You no, know. I agree. I, I was. Oh kinda, no, no, I wasn't gonna do that. I was gonna. I was figuring out how far to go with it or when to say something, but I figured this is as good a time as any. But yeah, out of character, it's cursed that I actually am supposed to try to. And it see, says that makes, that makes try sense. to recover it at all costs, which would imply that I would like literally quit the edge watch and go looking for it. Right, which right, seems right. Un- which seems unreasonable. Which which is which is terrible writing to put into something and then not have a side quest and not, and not have anything to flesh that I out. I mean, believe me, if we were completely free forming, it might be kind of fun to spend. It would a be. Days it would be, that, and I think that's but... probably what that was for. Um. Okay. So, can I can I just remove? Can I remove condition? Can I remove a curse? Well, hold on. I'm going to tell you. So the curse trait. So this is new for us. Um, an item with a curse trait means it will cause trouble for the owner. A curse is not detected when the item is identified. Although a critical a critical success reveals both the presence and exact nature of the curse. And so I do know that you credit. So you you know it was cursed, and you still did it anyhow. But you also know how to get rid of it. Um, it actually takes a full day before it kicks in, so you didn't feel compelled until a day later. But to get rid of it, you need Remove Curse. Remove Curse is a fourth level spell, which I might have. You either can gab or get. I mean, it's not it's not unreasonable to get. It's not that hard. Dougie, we need another scroll. Just, no, we don't. don't. Don't be cheap. No, we don't. Open up the purse right, strings. Let me, let me just let me look at my. Let me get back to. I'm, just, I'm still Hero Lab. I'm still putting in these goddamn scrolls. So your curse. Well, fourth level spell scroll would be seventy gold pieces. Yeah, it's seventy gold pieces. But then I'll only have two thousand and two seven. gold. No, oh. two thousand seven. Oh, two thousand seven. Yeah. You'll still be over the two K mark. You'll be. Yeah, we'll be over the two mark. All right, I guess. Can we? We can't even cast it. We have to hire. Well, someone it's to divine cast and occult, so I. Pro- yeah, it's true. It's actually. I probably oh, it's have divine. To have it. It I yeah, probably have to have a cast, to cast on me. That, that's going to be more expensive. It's not that much more. And to be honest, you are. Yeah, they. They should. Fl- yeah, they. They, they should uh, get uh, someone on staff to do that. Use some Star Watch <laughs> clout to make that happen. <laughs> sure. You see now this you can role play. You, you tell me how you beg the captain to have this curse removed off of you huh how do you approach that captain we made a key breakthrough in an important case that has the potential to save thousands of lives but in doing so i had to handle a cursed vest so i need remove i need to get a, a curse removed and i would think the department should be able to cover something like that since it was incurred in the line of duty there might be 50 gold piece uh, out of pocket True. Mm. Have you hit your deductible? Mm. <laughs> Cursed vest, you say? 
Tell me more about this Christmas. Tell me the situation in which it came up, as much detail as possible. Oh, come on! And I have slowly. To the whole story about Please, the demon lady. Tell it slowly. I, I'm going to be getting a soda while he does that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you give me the Cliff Notes version. So, yeah, the old story. Yeah, we'll summarize of, the story of, of a, the demon lady. Subduing and... a demon lady, subduing the the succubus i've heard it all before hey this isn't my first rodeo you can you can talk to me like an adult basil we aren't children here <laughs> i'll pay the 70 myself so sometimes when you're in star watch you gotta do things you don't want to do let's just say it's part of the job well, Anyhow, and she's like taking notes, by the way, detailed notes to put into the the report, which is public this, if, record, if, by the way. I was going to say, if this ends up in eyes on Absalom, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Exposed. Bird person has affair with demons. Bird cops Succubus. love, yeah, bird, bird cops love Trist. No. And you're the only one who used their real family name in the uh, in the. Uh, That's true. I was caper. Lucius, but I was Blackfeather. So. That's true. Lucius Blackfeather into the kinky. All right. She's like, all right. I think I've embarrassed you enough. Let's get that curse removed, shall we? And of course, she gives you like a little voucher to go over to the the local church to have the curse removed. Of course, she puts down the full reason why. Because they need to know exactly what they need to do to get rid of the curse. As many details as possible. Because it really helps in the curse removal. So she's like, Barb Vess, impress demon mistress of the night. Who was into pain, torture, and sadomasochism. Remove curse no longer into bondage got it there you go there's your note fantastic all to save 70 gold <laughs> ah only shame that no one else got to see this it's your private shame it's like your own private idaho apparently not anymore <laughs> i'll just everyone on the podcast okay you can go down that's what you do for the day it's like getting a booster okay you get your curse removed for free was it worth it you don't feel that you don't feel the need to have the vest anymore yeah I, well that's probably worthwhile had the vest tight around you squeezing you that is absolutely awful. pleasure and pain Ooh, yes. didn't have like little spikes on the inside oh and it, it spikes it gave you it gave you it actually gave you damage when it squeezed you really hard you sure you don't want that vest i don't know i think you kind of liked it mm, gonna pass oh, all right anyhow if we ever go back and do like the directors, if we do the Snyder cut of this podcast, we'll do an entire interlude where we go looking for the vest. <laughs> there is Snyder cut. Snyder cut. You're gonna go to our home world. You're gonna go to the Underdark. Oh no! No! <laughs> That's the Snyder cut where you see what her, her or you meet her parents. There you go. That's the Snyder cut. <laughs> All right. You wake up the next day and report as usual to the captain, and she's like, "Ah, Red Squad." I have some information for you. My sources have confirmed that a rough apartment in the puddles was recently rented by one Francesca Lorenz. Mm. Time is now of the essence. My sources tell me that the neighbors haven't seen anyone enter or exit the apartment in at least a week. So your path should be clear. But there's no telling what you might find there. She then, like, hands you a piece of paper and says, Here's your warrant. Hurry up. Time's a-wasting. She's urging you to get out and go down to the puddles and check it out as quickly as possible. Okay. All right. Are we going in uniform? Oh, yeah. You can go in uniform. Totally. With a warrant, we better. With a warrant, no less. Yeah, that's good. It's all legal-like. Oh, it'd it's all be kind of funny if we showed up in our costumes that didn't match with the warrant. Good. Good, co good comedy. As long as you have a badge. <laughs> That's all you know. need, a badge and a gun. I work in the kitchen. Here's my warrant to search your premises. Cool. All right. So, do you head over to the puddles? Yes. yes. Okay. 
you journey to the waterlogged district known as the Puddles. It's a short and uneventful journey. You find the apartment building. You see it's on the third floor of a ramshackle boarding house on Cold Light Street called the Brown Manor. What do you do? We should do the we should do the the FBI warrant open up and then immediately break down the door in rapid succession. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like a heartbeat later. We're here. Um FBI open up. Boom. So right now you're on the bottom. Um this part I'm a little abstracting, um until you get somewhere specific. So you're at the neighborhood, you're at this apartment. There's obviously other people here. It's an apartment complex. It's on the third floor. So this is not just a private residence. So there's people all around this area. Uh, I like the the, the bums rush. Uh, yeah, yeah. Down the it, door. It, did you change yeah, the map? Because I don't see a different map. No, not yet. Okay, I'm going to change the map now. Okay. I actually know what I want to buy with my 2,000 gold. So when when we have time to do that. Oh, what are you going to buy? Uh, I want to buy Basil a flaming rune for his bow. Oh, thank you, John. That's great. <laughs> that is nice of you, John. That doesn't even sound like John. <laughs> that uh, sounded exactly like John. A high-pitched... Uh, I say let him go. High-pitched, high-pitched Dougie. Uh, Dougie I, need to make, to, I need to start I... recording John and make myself a John soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Like that, uh, Simpsons, I would like to buy a ring for Basil. <laughs> I think we should buy Jason a rune. <laughs> or Howard Stern does that all the yeah, time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the books <laughs> on tape. Um, I want to buy a ring of protection. What? what? You actually don't have one yet? They're 2,000 gold. I guess not. How would I ever have that? What does that do? It's plus one to armor class. It Is stacks. It? Are you sure? Yeah. No. It's 2,000 gold. Yes, it stacks. AC stacks. It's a deflection bonus. Are you sure it's not different? Like it's not Ring of what's deflection? it called? Ring of protection. Oh, protection. I thought you said deflection. Well, it gives a deflection bonus, but it's ring of protection. I don't see it. Um, I'm looking at, uh, well, maybe. There are many magic rings in this world. I'm finding it. Hold on. Oh yeah, ring of protection. A ring of protection offers magical protection in the form of the deflection bonus of plus one to plus five AC. So, oh yeah, it's from Ultimate Equipment, and it is for Pathfinder First Edition. So let's mm-hmm. this first edition. Oh, is that where I'm at? Oh, yeah. I think it works differently. I think it's just like plus one to save or something. You sit on a throne of uh, lies. Dang it. Why don't they label this thing first edition? Oh, on the other hand, I got ring of wizard. I got that ring of wizardry, so I got two new sp- I got some new spell slots. That's very that's true. Right, that's right. You got something actually useful. Yeah, there's no more there's ring of protection is gone, baby. God damn it. Because it says plus one to plus five. There's no plus five in Pathfinder Second Edition. Wah, wah, wah. You go to the store to try to find your get ring of protection. They're like, oh, those are discontinued. We discontinued those about two and a half years ago, buddy. Damn it. <laughs> back oh, well, to the adventure. Back to the eBay. Maybe not at the eBay. store. Look yeah, I'll go ahead. Yeah, maybe a re, uh, resale on the eBay. The warranty's out on those things. The, the magic no longer works. You can buy them, but they're just. Yeah, they're but just if they're really... on eBay, it means they're like four times more expensive. And, than... and. Yeah, it'll work. They're really you just novelty the, you items You can buy the Etsy, the Etsy ring of protection. That's yeah. a, the it's Etsy. just like a piece of string. <laughs> <laughs> and it says a big plus one on it in felt. Like a, with a, like a magic marker. Okay. Or there's the Craigslist ring of protection where there's nothing in the box. You go, um, or, or or it's filled with rocks, you know, for the weight. Um, yeah. You go to the third floor. It is a very simple door to the apartment. There's no windows. Nothing. What do you do? There's no doors? Actually, there's a door. A very simple door in front of you. That, I, I suggest I suggest we absolutely... No windows, nothing. Immediately after we make an announcement. Uh, in fact, in fact, my, my the announcement that we have a warrant should be my battle cry. <laughs> to, to commence it. Agreed. And, uh, and either Dougie or Low Man just literally break down the door. You tell me. Uh, Dougie is the strongest, so I guess he's gonna break down the door, right, Will Man? Uh, yeah. I mean, you're you're pretty strong, not yeah, the strongest. Strongest. 
Okay, strongest guy will go first. Well, it's an athletics check to force open the door. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's I'm all about that. As I'm a master in athletics. All right, Lomag, I bring you up. You're in front of the door. All right, so we could just pick the lock. Actually, I'll see if is it even locked. It's locked. Mm. All right. Let's do the smash. Oh. Dougie's only a master in athletics. Yeah, I'm only a master also. Plus twenty one. Plus twenty one. Plus twenty one. Plus twenty two. Oh. Ooh. All right. By all means, ladies first. Thirty two. Not bad. Break down that door. Smash! You break that door down like it's nobody's business. Boom! Edge watch. We have a warrant. Hut 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 hut. Clear clear clear. Okay, you can see into the room. What do you do? I move we... in. Check your corner. I move there. You you move in. Dougie moves in too. Basil, what do you do? We're probably watching it. I will have my sword cane out and I will move in. Okay. Put yourself. Okay. And go, miss. Okay, stop. The walls of this simple one room apartment are plastered with broadsheets, flyers, and printed posters heralding events occurring across the city during the Radiant Festival. From plays and operas to sporting matches and exhibitions. Each clipping is accompanied by a detailed charcoal sketch on brittle parchment of a building or street corner map marked with handwritten scribbles. Bits of string tacked to the papers lead from one wall to the next in a colorful spider web of inscrutable connections. A wooden table sits in the middle of all this, its surface covered with a mess of glass containers and metal tools. The air smells strongly of stale sweat with a hint of acid chemicals. So you have walked into a spider's nest of conspiracy theories everywhere. And over here to the west, approximately 20 feet, you see a table where everything is connected. It all comes together. Aliens. No one, there's, there's no one here. It's aliens. It could be aliens. What do you do? Aliens. I want to believe. Uh, hmm, let's start looking at this evidence. I absolutely want to see if the uh, two goblins in, in the in the goblin food thing from all the time ago are represented somewhere in this. I would love it if they were. Okay. What's the gist of this? Is it like uh, our exploits, or is it the the, the festival? Or okay, yeah. So you start looking around. Uh, each of you give me a perception check. Low man twenty one. Gomez twenty four. These are bad perceptions. Uh, is that something we can roll? Yeah, it's it's in there. Um, Basil eighteen and Doug oh. thirty six. Thirty two is not bad. You should feel happy with that. <laughs> no one rolled a thirty two. I rolled that a twenty one. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm looking at. Oh, Basil that's athletics. That's athletics. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, so here's what happens. You're looking around, and you can tell with like uh, you can tell that. These are just all the various events going on during the Radiant Festival, like all the biggest events and the only thing you notice in common. Now, I have good news and I have bad like news. news first. Everybody give me That's the bad fortitude. News. Yeah, is that the good news or the bad news? Roll for combat. Uh, that's the good news. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. fails, Basil fails, I'm gonna re Gomez fails, fails. fails. I'm, 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 I'm going to re-roll, I'm going to re-roll, re-roll, hero point, hero point. Yes. Okay, everyone failed. Dougie Crits. succeeds. No, he succeeds. Lomang what? critically fails. Well, you rolled the 19, uh, then you rolled the 20. I mean, Anyone I, else already roll rolled, anything? I already rolled nope. an 18 on die, and I failed. So, I, don't, I mean, hero point would just let me crit farm. So I'm just going to roll with what I got. I don't want to critically fail. 37 is in a crit? Fail. That's not 10 over the, the difficulty? It's a fail, he said. No, he's, he's 37 is a success. Oh, My 31 okay. is a fail. Okay. Oh, a 31 is a fail. Eesh. 31 is a failure. Okay. Um, Let's see. 
Gomez. I'll, I'll hero point. I'll hero point. All right. What's okay. your bonus? You need a th- higher than thirty-one. You got, well, uh, here I, it's like I got I got a seventeen bonus. You're oh the, yeah, you should. So I can. I, I, it's possible. Yeah, you I roll well. Definitely do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can do it. Well, it's actually not, not if I do that. <laughs> Twenty-six. Yeah. It's exactly the same way as I got before, almost. Okay, uh, low man. Okay, so the poison comes out, and it does. Um, I rolled sixty-six. It's only I only rolled an eighteen, so eighteen points of damage to I think everyone, everyone except Dougie. Dougie takes half of that. So Dougie takes nine points. Everyone else takes eighteen, except low man, who takes. Is that 36 points of damage? Mm, mm, mm. 36 points of damage. Okay. But that's not the bad news. This is the good news. The bad news is the acid is eating all of the papers on the wall and on the table. They're disintegrating quickly. Dougie's up. Oh, the mad evidence. The insane evidence will lose it all. Is anything not being, uh, like, wh- oh, is it the air? The air is, like, Yeah, poison? it looks like there's a small... Or is it acid? Yeah, this is what happens. There's a small, like, hole, a nozzle, like, hidden in the wall. And that's where you see that it's coming out, like, of these little nozzles. And they're all around the room. And it's pumping acid into the room. So the whole room is filled very quickly because there's you think like a couple of them like four or five six of these nozzles it's acid which is yeah it's not good for you but all this delicate paperwork and stuff is just oh. getting it's literally eating everything in this room now you have a while like it's not like going to be gone and around but it's starting to disintegrate and you're losing evidence quickly is there a pile of evidence that is within grasp that I could grab it and take it out in one action? I, I do have actually enough move actions. Well, the whole room is covered. So it's literally every wall in this room and the table. Okay. Well, stuff on the table, I guess. I think. Whatever you decide. Yeah. It's All right. So you. I'm going to go one, two, three. Grab stuff. Well, that's one action. Two actions. You yep. grab stuff. Okay. And then move out. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I can't. Five, six. That's as far as I can go. And Basil's up. I can't. I can shield. I can wrap my stuff, my, my body around that. Can I? You can try. Okay. I'm it's, try. it's still dissolving, by the way. Basil's up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to the stuff on the wall. And see if I can discern anything that's like a central or important piece of the information. Um, perception check. Basil, I've already got it committed to memory. Oof, 18. I'm going to no. hero point that. You are going to hero point that? Yeah. Okay. Much better. 33. Okay, here's what happens. You're looking around, and you're looking desperately to find where the you know what's important the hub of conspiracy if it's, there's a place where there is none there is none but you found a bulge in this part of the wall over here you think that's where the traps like hub is that's where like where the canister that holds the acid is is behind this wall because it looks like it's been recently plastered over you can tell can i try to kind of poke through the wall and see if I can get access to the trap? Yes. All right, I'm going to do that. It's just an attack. All right. Um, Wow. 37. What are you using? The cane with with the cover on. Okay. Okay, you smash the wall, and sure enough, a small, tiny amount of plaster comes off the wall. So it looks like you could actually get to it, but it's it's going to take a while. I will like, just also shout out, I think I found the trap. Yep. Gomez, you're up. All right. Uh, probably Is it coming idea. from one source or five or six sources? The, the nozzles are throughout the whole room, but Basil thinks he found the tank. That's oh, the I core. see. Okay. Uh, well, Lomang, you're a thief. Well, Gomez <laughs> is up. Yep. Oh. All right, uh, 
All right, I'll give it a shot. Uh, Can you press to digitate some of the yeah, stuff? Yeah, press to digitation sucks. Like I had a clever idea. It's like the only thing is like press to digitation. Like you specifically can't use any anything you make as a tool. Like I, I was like, oh, press to digitate a cork and plug the hole. But uh, that's a, it. Seems like that the spells. But not to really clean uh, stuff well, or wash it with water, dilute oh, well, it. Well, my thought actually is because this is a this is similar to a fog or mist, is it not? All of this uh, acid gas. Is mm. that correct? No, it's poison. Yeah, but like, it's is it like uh, is it like cloud kill? Like, is it is, is it, it a fog? Is it is it aerosol? Fog? Right, is it an aerosol? Hmm. Yeah, it's got to be, right? It's, it's Basically, airborne. gust of wind have a chance of blowing it away. Well, it could be like a sprinkler. Um, you can... That's my question. Uh, well, gust of wind... Gust of wind will... It's like you're in a very small room, and if there was smoke filling up the room, gust of wind would probably just push the smoke in other parts so of no. the room. So, so gust of wind is no good. It's no. not going to get rid of it, because you're not outside. There's nowhere for it to go. All right. So, not going to do that, then. It would just push it around. I mean, in theory, you could move to where, like, the far end of the room and then gust the wind and blast it all out the door, in theory. You could do some of it, correct. That would help, but it's also, at the same time, spewing out of the room so quickly that it might be a negative. It might not be... There's no some game. Like, it's still coming out. I'm going to do the incredibly ridiculous mundane. And, uh... Let's see. I have a disguise kit, or and I also have a scroll that I could sacrifice. Uh, what do you think would be more plausible from somebody, for somebody in my character's position to be able to use as a plug to plug up the hole? That, 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 no, he said there's a lot of holes, though. You have to find oh, the oh, hole it's first. A, oh, it's a, oh, it's a lot? There's a ton, yeah. yeah. You, there's a, to, to actually do that, first you have to find the hole, and then you have to actually then plug it up. And it's a thievery check. The, okay, so can, can I ask, the, like, are the holes like, through all the walls or yes. one wall? All, all over the place. place. Yep. Okay, so it's all over the place. Okay. Uh, that being the case, there's no chance in... I see what's going on. All right, now i got a more of an understanding of what's going on here. The like whole it really room. Is, it really is, is a death trap. There's a, like, yeah, there's, hole, there's holes everywhere. You walked in, it. and it's... And it's just got the whole it, room is filled it, up. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Uh, all right. Um, I think we should so have then, picked the lock. So then while I have time, I'm going to learn from the chaotic mess of... Uh, uh, of information, whatever I can. Uh, I just l I look it over and I try to analyze it. Perception. And, and so you like perception or what about perception. occultism? Perception. Perception. Perception is all perception. Uh, what is my perception? I think my perception sucks. Yeah, my perception sucks. 24. I'm going to say that does the whole three rounds. That's not so bad. You're looking around, you're like, ah, ah, ah. As you're reading it, the, the actual papers are sizzling. As they're disintegrating in front of you, and you're, ah! like, you're like, ah, ah, look, look, there's a play going on over here, and look, look, there's a puppet show over here, and and look, look, a concert over here. There's so many things. <laughs> Low mag is up. There's just a lot right. of stuff. You're getting information, but there's a lot of info. If it helps, I, I just want to know whether. There, there appears to be method to this madness, or it, or or if it's if it is just a just like crazy conspiracy theory. It, it, the method to the madness is that of the five thousand events that were occurring during the Radiant Festival, there's a good five hundred of them here. <laughs> so you're trying to figure out which is the one that's important. All right, so I move over there, and I, I can I disable this now, or can I do I have to mess with the wall more? Uh, this is what you see. There's a very tiny hole in the wall. That's it. And then supposedly there's a little uh, there's a tank or something behind it. So either punch that wall or well, yeah, I'll flurry the, the wall. Okay, I guess. Um... Go right ahead. Just attack. Okay. You can't oh. crit a wall, by the way. Uh, oh! But you can miss the wall! <laughs> <laughs> and then I can hit the wall. You can't. The funny thing is you can't crit a wall, but you do. Was it? The funny thing is you rolled a 1, and was then the you one? rolled a natural 20. <laughs> was the wall the size of a Barnes broadside? It, it was literally, he's like, let me, whoops! I hit it and I did no damage. That is 
ridiculous. That okay. is ridiculous. So you do... Uh, how much damage do you do? Either 11 bludgeoning and then all that electricity and Sonic? No, I don't do that damage yet. No. Oh, okay. So, Just 11. Okay, you literally punch... Unless I get sneak attack damage. No, you do not. You get exactly one point of damage on that wall. A little piece of plaster <sighs> Jeez, falls out. Really? Well, that's hard. Uh, you gotta get I, reali- I realize how stupid I am, too. I'm a complete idiot. Uh, 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 thieves, picks, and tools, disabled device. Uh, like Dougie, you got the you got disabled device. Right? Yeah, I have that. I have yeah, that also. Yeah, so does I have a bunch of stuff. I'm getting out the door. That's why I told. Uh, yeah, but the, but the problem to get over there. But the problem yeah, is we have to get to the thing before we can mess with the. Yeah, thing. like like yeah, with you that, do that in that one help. action and you're there. Well, no, he has to get through the wall. No, so we have to break through the wall. You to have to get break to through the, the wall. Device. You got. Oh, you have uh, to get to the. What, if, you, if we can get to the device, we can disable it. Yes, right. and I can do that. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So you 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 knocked off a piece of the wall. You did one point better. damage to the wall. Ugh. Keep going. You got another round left. I got, crane another, stance? I got one more action. It might uh, hit you. It might hit you. The wall might hit back. No, no crane stance. It's a, I don't have the actions. I'll have to do other it things. Might as well. Uh, I'll totally attack it. Choke. Uh, yeah, I'll attack it. I get it. So funny. You like literally can't miss the wall, and yet you miss the wall. Oh my god, you almost missed the wall again. I tell you, but uh, you hit. Two points of damage. Okay, you're, you're knocking it down slowly but surely. You got three points of damage on that wall. I'm done. The round two. More of the trap goes. Everyone give me a fortitude save. Even Dougie? Even Dougie. Is He's still in the right room. next to the edge. He's <laughs> almost <laughs> out. Doesn't matter. That's terrible. There we go. Gomez fails. Ugh. Loman succeeds. Basil oh, fails. And Dougie critically fails. Oh, actually, critically Gomez critically f- fails. Okay. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Actually, everyone critically fails. Dang. Well, Jason was fine. He no, he just fails. And then Loman. Loman <laughs> fine is a regular failure. Well, yeah. it, it, the DC is so high; it's kind of amazing. But uh, it's really nasty. This stuff. So let's see what happens. Um, but it's actually a good amount of danger for our level because it doesn't completely debilitate us or wipe us out. We, the, but the clock is ticking. It's yep. absolutely yeah, ticking sure, right sure. now. Yeah, at 18 damage, I could probably stay in here for <laughs> Well, now rounds, this time it's 27 okay. damage. <sighs> so, okay, let's see. 54 uh, for me and Gomez. <laughs> 54 damage for Gomez. 54 damage for Dougie. 27 for me. Basil and 13 Jeez. for Lomang. The papers continue to sizzle and fade away, and Dougie, even the ones you're holding, are disintegrating. That's amazing. One more round of that, I'm dead. Uh, I, I want to get out of here. Dougie, you're up. I get out of here. Okay. And I didn't block the, uh, the, 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 the acid on the papers at all. You tried, but I, I tried. mean, it's I, I ass- it's like it's everywhere. Yeah, I failed. So, all right. So I'm getting out. And I'm rolling on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Basil, you're up. The holes in front of you. You see it. It's there. It's there. I mean, you got a lot more plaster to go through, but there's the tank. The tank is there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack. Apparently, I might actually miss the wall. Natural one, yeah. Oh, my God. You guys can't hit the broad side of a barn. That is I, I feel oh. like it's more like the wall wow. is tough, and it's not taking damage. It's okay, not, well, the, <laughs> like it's, you're you not hit, really missing. It's like armor. It hits the thing. And and you I hit, hit a piece of brick instead of the plastic. You, exactly. Right, you hit seven right. points of damage because it has hardness. All objects have hardness, which is just standard rules. You have to get through the hardness. You, you can't get through seven points. Doesn't get through the bar- hardness. You literally hit a brick, so nothing happens. But he hit uh, it. With my third action, I'm going to battle medicine Lomang so he can stay in here a little longer. I'll stay in if you I'll need to. I'll go ahead and in. use assurance on that. Okay. So how much is that? Uh, the assurance twenty. So it's like what two d eight plus uh, something. Um, you figure that out. Gomez, you're up. You're two d eight plus ten. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. The acid, it burns, it burns, oh, it the really bottles does. do nothing. It really does. So do I want to heal and stay, or do I want to Chris, get give the yourself out of here? Points. Oh, good, thank you. Uh, I think I got to get out of here uh, immediately and then worry about it. All right, so 
I leave into the hall and I try to get to the I, I try to get to, out of the uh, area effect of the of, of the acid. If you leave the room, you're out of the area effect. So, so one move gets me there, and second move will heal me. I'm gonna heal. Like, <laughs> I mean, you do have line of effect to Basil and um, Lomang, but I think they're too far, unfortunately. Unless you. Um... Yeah, they're 45 away. Yeah, the, 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 there's there's no area effect heal except an extremist, and I don't think we've gotten there yet. <laughs> True. I'm just saying that you're almost, it's like you're just like, unless you extend it or something. Because they're just I far think enough I away. Need, uh... This is probably also the first door we haven't checked for traps. Oh, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna do, a, totally I'm gonna do a fourth didn't. level heal. If it makes you feel any better, it's a very high level trap, so I, I don't know if you would have even detected that. So this is a fourth level heal. Okay. On yourself, right? That's a good one. Twenty-five plus uh, forty. <laughs> yeah, plus forty because you get the extra plus two for using the staff, right? Uh, right. So, so, so six... sixty-five heal. That's a good, good heal. You're back. You're back, baby. Lomang. All right. So I will spend an action to summon my key and and produce my thunder and lightning. Did you heal yourself? Uh, I was, yeah, I was healed by um, Gomez. I mean, by um, uh, Basil. Oh, just making sure you put it on. Yeah, okay. I put it on. Yeah. All right, so I do that, so I'll get the extra damage, and I will attack again. Attack that wall! The, these attacks are actually at minus one to hit, because I'm not in stance yet. So okay. just note so that. more so. I think that's it. Look at that! So that's actually, so that's a total of 25. 25? All right, now you're cooking with gas. Now suddenly a huge part of the wall comes flying off. My bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, here we go. No mercy. And you just like rip off parts of the wall. And, and I do it again. Okay, and so now you have you have destroyed the wall and you see the tank. And sure enough, the tank is embedded in the wall. There's like a dozen hoses coming off of this thing, but they are like attached. But you do see there is a, a way to shut it off, but you need a thievery check because you definitely don't have the right tools. So All right. you're going to have to like figure this out. Cut the blue wire. <laughs> right. Cut the blue wire. All right. So I will make a thievery roll for my second action. Well, oh, my third, third action, action. My third action. Yeah. Third action. Here we go. Here we go. What did he roll? 22. Butterfingers, not even close. <laughs> you're like, you're like, I don't know what I'm doing here, buddy. You're just like pulling things out of the wall. You're like, there's got to be one of these things. Round I three, a six, a six. I roll. Uh, here's the a papers four two. continue to sizzle and burn. The furniture is starting to melt. <laughs> That's, oh my god! The not, bed. It's... You look in the bed. The bell. The bed is literally melting and melding into the floor. The table is starting to actually wobble because the legs are disintegrating. Wow, this is not a healthy place to be at all. Um, Basil and Lomang, give me a fourth save. Oh no! Lomang, critical failure. <laughs> Basil. Yes. Barely succeeds. That's right, a 33 barely succeeds. In fact, I'm going to give you a secret. That's what you need to roll is a 33. How wow. about that? Damn. Damn indeed. But I do have good news. Oh, eight? Yep. Oh, it's... It's some, of the, some of the nozzles have stopped spewing gas, so it looks like it's slowing down a little. Um, so you take 16 points of damage, Lomang. And Basil, you take four points of damage. That's it. All right, I can handle that for a while. Actually, it doesn't seem to. It seems to. It doesn't matter. Like the everything else is disintegrating, and all the papers and string are just falling apart. Doggy's up. You're in the hallway. You can't even see anything. Um, I'm looking at these papers, making sure that are are they disintegrating? What you have left is, it's like. It's like getting a Stephen King book, and you got like five pages from that book. There you go. That's what you got. Um, well, did I see? Well, I mean, kind of hard to read. <laughs> well, I'm gonna spend much my all the time I have trying to memorize what's there. 
I guess there's there's nothing to say about there. This you have photographic memory. Well, I, I have a high perception. Well, now you can no, they're they, they're done disintegrating, but you, you realize like you just you have a very small percentage of this of the larger. You, you, it worked. I mean, you have pieces, but it's very yeah. Small piece. I, I I guess what I'm saying is like, look, I only spent one move to get outside on my last turn. I, I'm I'm just trying to memorize what I what what I see yeah, totally. in the papers. You got it. And Vazzle's up. I believe I have thieves' tools, so I'm going to pull out my tools and try to disable this thing. Okay. Not twenty. There it is. I don't know nice job. Let's see. What? <laughs> no. Hell yeah. You know the funny thing is, what are you? Are you an expert? Oh, you are. So the DC is a forty. So you roll the thirty-nine. Which means you only succeeded. You didn't critically succeed, Basil. Even but with you Matt shut Turner. off the tank. Good wow. job. That's insane. How does that work? I'm curious. Uh, if Is it just because the net 20 means he... Because uh, it's The not... failure becomes a success. Okay. Well, it, okay. It, is it, that it, what... it, 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 it not you... bumps it, it up one. It just bumps it up one. So believe it or not, a 39 would actually be a failure. It's a failure that gets bumped up. No, it's an automatic one success. To a, to a Although, success. if I have Thieves tools, wouldn't that give me a plus one? It's probably already in that roll. It might actually be. I don't know. It might be in the roll. might not. I forget. I usually put it in automatically. Um, okay, we'll say it's somewhere between. You're in that gray area between success 39. and critically. 39.5. <laughs> you're like, like, well, maybe. It was a, you did it. You did it! Hurrah! Hurrah! You look around. You're coughing up a little blood. Your your clothes have a have a sheen to it. Uh, all your clothes are a little thinner. Uh, they do have hardness, so they're able to withstand some of the acid. So you're in good shape, and your clothes and weapons we are in good shape. We now have acid washed clothes. You, you <laughs> literally have acid washed clothes. You're going to be the talk of the town because everyone's going to want to know where they got that cool look. I think my skin is silky smooth now. It was a nice exfoliation treatment. <laughs> um, you look around and you're like, well, it's sort of here. Like, probably like 60% of the evidence is gone. You got 40% left. Maybe it's All enough. Right. So maybe that's enough. I mean, we can do a thorough search. Um, what I'm gathering, what this is, uh, just from initial, the initial inspection before the gas even went off, is it looks like areas of concentrated people, which are probably targets. They're probably targets yeah. for this guy for his weapon. That's the most pe most people he can kill. Yeah, like that's a good hypothesis. Like if it's just an insane person that wants to take the weapon of mass destruction and put it in the worst possible place, figure it yeah. out. I mean, that would be the thing that would make this make sense. And then move it from place to place, even maybe. Yeah. Though, like this does have the on the uh, but the flip side, this does have the air of it being crazy mass conspiracy like the meme of the guy from always uh, uh always happy and sold in uh, philadelphia was always sunny in philadelphia where he's like got charlie the cigarette. charlie he's got the cigarette <laughs> you know it's like that meme and uh if, if that's the case then all of this stuff is connecting into madness and uh that like we'd have to we'd have to delve into the mind of a madman to find out where they're actually going to be and where we're going to use it well the good news is the trap is disabled there's definitely a lot of evidence here and you can probably gather it up and you can search this place yeah let's search you the might place. want to put on some gloves so you don't get the acid in your well, fingers yeah and it's like like i take copious notes i start taking copious notes of the uh, of like you know, like i try to sketch the wall because i think like maybe their positioning with all the threads and stuff means something i'm also gonna check around the bed for like personal effects Ooh, give me a perception check basil you find a key. Ooh. Well, it should be a key to a vault to the casino. It's not. It's a good guess, though. Well, actually, no. It's, we had the key. With the yeah, we had the key. <laughs> How did okay. they get in the casino? You could. True. Do you want to identify this? I'll, I'll try. I mean, uh, does it look like a familiar key in any way? It's magical. <laughs> okay, well, if it's magical, I'll try to use my ad identifying magic items. You look at it, and you realize... It has a grinning skull on top of this macabre key. This is a skeleton key. Oh, wait. 
It's a greater skeleton cave. Really? Worth 1,250 gold pieces. Oh my god. Now you're like, you're up in the... As a free action, you can attempt to pick a lock, and that you haven't rolled, and you can cast knock on the lock you're trying to pick. In addition, if you use a greater skeleton key when attempting to pick a lock instead of thieves' tools, you get a plus two item bonus instead, Basil. Hmm. Out of, curi- out of curiosity with the prior plot, does it look like that that would be powerful enough magic to sub in for the for the for the for what's his name's key? Like nope. like this might be the thing he, the, the thing nope. they actually use to to get in there. No, nope. no, right. no. Actually, you know how he got in there. He worked there. Oh, how he got into that lockbox? Right. That you're not sure. That you're yeah, not I was sure. wondering. Maybe... That, I guess that's why I was asking. Oh, like, oh, maybe, oh sorry. Like, let like... me rephrase. Okay. Is this key powerful enough to get into the lockbox? Right. Yes. Was okay, it powerful so... enough to get into the vault? No. Right. So all they had to do was somehow scam his way into the vault. But once in the vault, they could use the they could use the key to get into the actual lockbox. And so that correct. Might be part, part of the right. puzzle. That is correct. Yes, you did figure this part out probably. Okay. In addition, as Gomez and Lomang look around and Dougie's sitting in the hallway crying, you find a couple of flasks. And Gomez, you know that demon mask you fa- you have? Yeah. You find its bigger brother. Whoa. The greater demon mask. I like it's it. Stylized oh, wow. Can, can I take it? A, I want it. It's stylized like a pico demon. A tentacle-filled fiend that personifies death by poison. How about that? I like it. I take it. You're like, screw the demon mask. I want to be more demon. Demon mask upgrade. I, I need more demon on my mask. You need more cowboy? Not, yeah, not, not enough demon. I need more demon. The greater demon mask, which is 900 gold pieces, gives you a plus two item bonus and allows you to cast third level fear spell. Mm. With a DC of 29, no less. Okay, that's kind of cool. Once per day. You guys are starting to get the upgrades. Now you're getting the good stuff. Greater Skeleton Key, Greater Demon Mask, Two Flasks of Something, and Lots of Evidence. That's it. That's all you... You're done. You spend time, and you realize also... You see the little holes? There was, like, nozzles everywhere, like, all around this room. So he obviously set this to self-destruct. And there was a trap on the door on the inside that when you opened it... It triggered this, and then it went off. Like like fifteen seconds later, it started the uh, the, wow. the acid. So he planned this. What do you do? I look at myself in the mirror with my greater demon mask, and I admire my beauty. Do you intimidate yourself? You want to roll to see if you intimidate yourself yeah, yeah, and, yeah, cure, yeah, yeah, and yeah. make yourself like, do I, fear? Do I scare myself? I like try to intimidate myself, and, I, and I like, do I scare myself? <laughs> you probably do. So there's no sense of where they're attacking next. Oh yeah, do you want to spend time looking that out? Yeah. Yeah, well yeah, yeah like, that, like, that seems with to be the, the thing pieces that's analyzed of everything. The clues. Okay. You um you you look over, you spend a fair amount of time reviewing the maps, the notes, the string. You realize that they put together a clockwork poison bomb and they're going to set this thing off at the Aurorium which is the largest Colosseum in Absalom. Biggest Colosseum in the world. Likely during the big event called the Blood City Games. Black Friday. It's Black Friday. Black <laughs> yeah, it Friday. is. It is. It is Black Friday, the movie, which I guarantee less than 1% of our audience have ever heard or seen. I'm very movie. excited. That's and wonderful. We all it is seen, and we've Black all Friday. seen Black Friday. Oh, Jason, yeah, yeah. Jason have you seen Black Friday? I have not seen Black Friday. Really? But I do know, I do know what it is. And okay. they actually filmed it during the Super Bowl, the actual movie, which is yeah, fascinating. Cool. It's probably a Pittsburgh Super Bowl, too. Cause, I, I think mean, it was it, Pittsburgh and Dallas. It was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Pittsburgh and Dallas. I think yeah. you're right. Um, someone knows all about this. Someone who probably lives their whole life in Absalon. Someone who probably grew up with the... Uh... I might know. Oh, maybe Jason. I mean, Basil knows. Black Friday's like mid-70s, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 70s, 70s terrorist disaster movie. It's actually so slow, the ending. It's like, n- nowadays, you'd be like, that's it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's not on our And only that, the blimp, list. they try to make the blimp look exciting at the end. Yeah, I know. Like, Ooh, the blimp! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was like View to a Kill. He's like, oh no, he's going to ram him with a blimp that's going like five miles an hour. <laughs> it's like, oh, how scary. Yeah, but that had Duran Duran, so... Um, Okay, here we go. Basil, this is what you know all about the Blood City games. Okay, apparently, I mean, essentially, it is apparently gladiator games where they sometimes have contestants fight against monsters and sometimes have contestants fight against each other. Uh, One of the big draws this year is that there is a, a returning champion, Ogverm the Merciless, who is a you know, noted uh, lizard folk who actually had one of the most impressive performances in the games a couple years ago, and he's back for the Radiant Festival. So he's going to draw a big crowd in the games this time. Are they so fights think, to the so death? You think we, do you, you think we have to infiltrate the contestants of the games? Do you think that might be where this is leading? Good heavens. It was, <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so on Tuesday, we're VIPs. On Thursday, we're gladiators. <laughs> Huzzah. <laughs> so, yeah, the Blood City Games, they are gladiatorial events. It's held once every two years at the Aurorium. And this year, they purposely planned it to occur during the midway point of the Radiant Festival, which you're at. And it is going to be a gargantuan, exciting event. The Aurorium can hold, like, like half the city. It's gargantuan. It is literally the Super Bowl. And it looks like they are targeting to set off a clockwork poison bomb at the games. Is it going to produce the same acid stuff? Yes. Uh, no, no, oh. no, 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 no. Stuff it's, from the zoo. It's the stuff oh, from the zoo, the... which is oh, way oh, worse. Oh, that's great. So, so it makes everybody insane. Worse. They all kill each other. Yes. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to drive the, the city insane. And they'll it's all... the rage. Oh, my virus. God. It will. It'll, it'll be... Uh, what's up? The purge. Yeah. Everybody will purge out. It's, uh, no, it's just Batman, uh, the, the, the third one. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Not the good one. People of Gotham, this city is yours. Red Hour, Red Hour, Red Hour. Let's, let's reference every right, single, Red Hour. Yeah, right, yeah. every single uh, <laughs> sci-fi much. thing where people go insane and kill each other. Happy communion. Oh, oh, the the uh, oh that um, uh, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Yep, yeah, that's one. Uh, Firefly. The uh, the 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 packs. Oh yeah, no yeah, Firefly yeah. with the um, Reavers or whatever. The Reavers, Reavers, yeah. Reavers. They'd all get Reaver. Oh, what about the um? Was it the gentleman or what was the one with um? Event Horizon. They go Event Horizon. The oh, yeah. Kingsman. Oh, a little the bit. Kingsman. Of the Kingsman. The yeah. Kingsman. Yep, the Kingsman. That was good. And oh, by the way, the games themselves are indifferent about uh, fighting to the death. Like, really, uh, this guy does kill some of his opponents. Not a, it's not always to the death, but I don't. They don't particularly. Is there a thumb up, up? Very thumb death. Very classically. Uh, so th- this clockwork thing. Now I'm curious though, like what size is it? Like, is it the type of thing that somebody smuggles in on their bu- on their person, or is it something that's kind of large that has to be th- that has to be uh, hidden in some kind of structure? You think it's about the size of a backpack? Wow. Right, so kind of in the middle, like like noticeable, but noticeable, uh, but, but, but portable, portable but noticeable. Portable, yep. Suitcase bomb. Suitcase. Nu- suitcase. Nuke. Suitcase. Nuke. Dirty bomb. Um... Yep. Suitcase. Dirty nuke in the Super Bowl. All right, it makes everybody insane instead of others. Yep, powerful. yep, and kills everyone, and then they all go Kingsman on each other. God, they really like the body horror in this one. They're really looking for the brutal. Uh, so, what do you think? So, <sighs> do, you, do you think? Do you think they're? Do you think they've infiltrated as one? They have to have infiltrated as one of the contestants, and we have to go and infiltrate two and try to dope out which one it is. It's got to be. Somewhere. Yeah, because they want to be centrally located, so they're going to be in the. Yeah, don't like, you think? You should probably go back to your captain. Yeah, let's go back to. Yeah, let's yeah, take yeah, all the back. evidence back to our home base. Yeah. Because you've been there like all day. All right, you go back to home base. Sure enough, I'm sure you report to the captain. Yes. And she looks this over. All right, we need to formulate a plan. 
All right, we can't cancel the blood games. Because if we do that, all they're going to do is go back underground and just set it off somewhere else. So that's not going to work. And we'll have to start this investigation all over again. So we're going to have to have you catch Franska in the act. And obviously, if we have a big police presence at the stadium, it's going to scare her off. So I know the Master of Blades, and he owes me a favor. So I bet I can secure some spots for you to enter the games, which, by the way, are tomorrow. Uh, We're ready, <laughs> sir. Let's go. I'm all rested up. I Just in nap. time. I'll tell you what. I'll be able to tell the Master of Blades about your mission. He'll keep the matter private unless we suspect imminent danger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position Star Watch officers near the Aurorium. Because that's not going to be suspicious, because there's going to be a watch officers all over there. Anyhow. It's expected, yeah. And so if things go really poorly, I'll have Star Watch move in and move out and evacuate to attendees to make sure that this does as little damage as possible. But hopefully it doesn't come to that. So this is what I need you to do. I need you to rest up, prepare to enter the games tomorrow. It's going to be an all-day event of fighting and more fighting. And I need you to investigate... Talk to the other fighters. Find Franska. Find the bomb and defuse it before it goes off. What do you say? I only, I only have one question. Yes. When we win the games, what do we get? A purse. You get the, <laughs> you get the purse and a trophy. You get to be added to the Hall of Heroes. That's all the winners of the games. Dude, by the time we're done with this match, we, we might be able to be like the rulers of the city oh we, we absolutely are going to the center of absalom and we're going to try to become gods we're going to go yeah, into yeah, that yeah. tower start, the star yeah the star absolutely, stone. Star, absolutely. Star, stone. Yep. star stone yeah that's a good point <laughs> now very important the games can be lethal you have to keep things non-lethal i can't emphasize that enough your job is not to kill people right even well, if they're trying to go with deadly force and I'll tell the master of games to do the same for you. If you're in trouble, they'll try to put a hold to any of the combats, okay? Yeah, so that's, Fortunately, that's we have a lot of training in non-lethal lethal right. combat, so that's, that's our problem. default. Good. Uh, so just keep that in mind. The other contestants might not play that way, and we'll do what we can, but you need to play that way. Make sure you go easy on them. But more importantly, think of your most flashy and dangerous spells, things that will really wow the crowd because that's also part of the games. Winning alone isn't enough. You need to win over the audience too. So keep that in mind. We shall proceed with style. Oh, <laughs> and one more thing, by the way. It's a little, it's a little bit like the Iger Sanctuary. It, it looks like you have enough experience to go to level 11. Huzzah! Nice, nice. When Dude, we're buying is... uh, an item, how high... I'm just asking. Level 11. Oh, really? I yes. thought it was like a few levels higher. It might be one or two in Absalon. I think it's like. Yeah, Absalon. I think it's, I think it's one or two because Absalom's, uh, it has a special bonus. Okay. I... Um, but anyhow. Okay. You... Iger Sanctuary reference, Seth, is awesome. That, that's yes. another one no one knows. Which way? What did you say? I, the, the Iger Sanction reference, or should we shall proceed with style? No, it's, a little, it's, it's, it's a little bit like Iger Sanction because it, uh, it, it was climbing. It was like it wasn't a gladiatorial thing. It was, it was mountain climbing, climbing yeah, yeah. mountain climbing. But the the spy was some member of the climbing team. He had to dope out who it was and, and eliminate them. They did a they did a um, a parody of that on Archer, if you remember. Oh wow! I'm sure they did. They, they did. Have. Oh my god! I bet it was great. So here's the news. You will get to level 11, level up your characters, and tomorrow you will be fighting in the arena. Awesome. And do you want me to show you the arena map? Just yes. to give you an idea how insane this thing is? Is it big? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, my God. That's the arena map. <laughs> do you see the scale for That's 250 huge. feet? That's pretty big. <laughs> That's good Wait, news what, for what's Jason. What's a square? That, that bow a, is going to be very useful. There is, you is go. It, is a square five feet or a square ten feet? Um, I think a square is twenty feet. Oh my god! 
Wow. Because I'm looking at the little lines that are the actual benches, and those squares are not five feet. Those, yeah, yeah, those squares are twenty feet. Yeah, yeah each yeah, square absolutely. is twenty feet. So that is, um, that's a big arena. That's big. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so width-wise, it's about five hundred feet wide, and then lengthwise, it's like, it's like a quarter of a mile long. Will there be chariot races? There is chariot races. Really nice. Yes. I'm just, I'm, the whole thing's got kind of a Ben Hur vibe to it. So, you know. I told you this adventure had everything. <laughs> it really does. It, it really has. You it weren't just, lying. Uh, it has. It has. I mean, what haven't you done? It's like you are doing every cliche in the book, and they're all great. <laughs> I get six level spells now. And you get an eleventh level. level. Yeah, eleventh oh level. God. Now you get the now now you get the scary spells because it's like it's like teleportation. Th third level, you get the really good spells. Fifth I'm like, level, I'm leveling get, up right now. You I'm get the up. scary spells. Sixth level, you get the the truly scary spells. Like that. Now you're just getting like save or die spells. Uh, did we get any money for solving this? Was there like a purse? Nope. Okay. Just making sure. You got the Greater Demon Mask, which is worth a ton. And you got a uh, Greater Skeleton Key. You got 2,000 gold pieces worth of gear. Okay. So All you right. can sell Immediately that. Immediately Chain Lightning. It. Immediately Chain Lightning. Oh, that's a good one. Is that Demon Mask useful, Seth? Uh, uh, if you like intimidating things. Oh, we do. We do. So, uh, do, do, what, do you want we my can... old one? No, we could sell the old one. Oh, absolutely sell the old one. Flesh to stone. Oh, that's a that's a nasty one. It, it's it, it's kind of see those those are also ones that are like a lot of spells are so uh, situational. If if they're as good as they're advertised, then they end encounters too quickly, and so they hardly ever work. Well, it works on both ways though, because here's the thing: if they're good on you, if they're good on the monsters, then they're too good on you too. So. It works both ways. You right, know? right. So, you know? so, but it kind of ends up, it's like I end up shying away from them because, like, it's kind of better to have. They also make it that you need to do damage like, than a you need to do like make. three saves for them to work, and they never work because he never. Although, the other day, I mean, it does happen. And when it does happen, I have critically failed to save on some of those saver dies, and they, they, you know, they die. You know, it doesn't happen a lot, but when it happens, it sucks. I mean, it hasn't happened to the PCs, but it's happened to the monsters. Sure in the original Path Builder, like in Path, Pathfinder, like I, I, my, that was my saucer was so powerful with the saver dies because you can really stack things to like min max it, and it becomes right. like really hard for them to make a save. And yeah. it's like, and when they miss, they're done. Yep. Yep. No, those saver dies were terrible in the first edition. So the day games, so you can prepare. It's one day. So there's not going to be any rests. Yeah. <laughs> we got we got a little bit of time here, guys. Help me out with uh, my two six level spells. Uh, All right, let's here, hear here's it. Some, here's some options. Uh, I'm definitely taking chain lightning as one of them. So it's really only have to decide one other. And there's utility options. There, there's the classic true seeing, which mm. we are investigators. So that's something. There's uh, tangling creepers, which looks like some kind of. It's also kind of thematic, also with us being Control. cops, like that. Like that's the, like an advanced sort of slow them down, entangle them. Well, thing. does it grapple them? Because Let's see that's, what it does. Uh, yeah, then forget it. Uh, uh, dense, probably yeah, dense twitcher things. Well, let's see. Let's see. What Unless it's like. a magic hold of some sort. Yeah. Well, let's find out. It it's is a dense draw. twitching creeper sprout from every surface and fill bodies of water. Any creature moving on land or climbing or swimming within the creepers takes a negative ten. Foot uh, cir uh, circumstance penalty to speed while in the area. I don't see anything about a save. It's just that's it. Yeah. Uh, once per round, you make a vine lash. Uh, this vine has a 15 foot reach. It makes a melee unarmed attack against uh, the, uh, using your attack spell modifier. If the attack succeeds, the vine pulls the target into the creature. Oh, and it makes it immobilized for one round or until the creature escapes against my spell DC. So that would be like it's athletics and whatnot against whatever my spell DC is. That's not bad. It's not bad, except often we have a lot of melee and like we're gonna get caught in stuff in that. That that's absolutely true. It it like that, that and you raise a salient point. Like anything that's that's one of these big area effect things that screws up as, us as much as it screws them. 
Um, and it doesn't appear, I don't see anything here about me being able to select targets. It's just everybody. Yeah. So that's a problem. Uh, what else we have? Purple Worm Sting, Big Bad Poison, Flesh to Stone we talked about. Uh, fire Seeds, more fire. Uh, explodes, so that's little little baby fireballs I can throw at people. Uh, How about Heal Me? Dragon Form. <laughs> All of, all of these are heal you. All of these are also heal you. Because oh, yeah, the other true. thing is it's slacker Jeez. for my advanced heal. Ah. And this is actually an interesting one if we ever fight undead. Uh, field of life. Ah. Uh, 20 foot burst. A field of positive energy fills the area, exuding warmth and rejuvenation. Each living creature that starts its turn in the area gets a d8 hit points. Any undead creature loses a d8 uh, in positive damage. And it I just, don't see anything about it, a save. It just seems like just such a drop in the bucket at this point. I mean, one d eight. It, it, it la yeah, sustained. It lasts for a minute. Yeah, but then it's like they so got to like, stay in yeah, that. Yeah, actually, that's true. So it's got to like, be like a, a horde of zombies. Yes, that's great. But you're it's, right. It's like, not like that. effectively, effectively, the fight goes five rounds. That's five d eight damage and five d eight heal, which is actually at this point is not that great. No, well, it's five d eight times four for all of us. Well, exactly. Like it would be, it, it would be the equivalent. It's kind of the who's equivalent. damaged. It's it's all of us it's who was damaged. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. kind of, it's kind of the equivalent of kind of kind of having an ever bursting first level heal going off that affects everything. Kind of yeah. Which is meh. Actually, I agree. How about um, dimension door? Is that on that list? That's not on my list. But what is on my list also, which is just plain fun. Baleful polymorph, where I could yep. turn things into small creatures. That is save or die. Oh, that is save or die too. That's a fun one. It is fun. Yeah. Is is flesh to stone save or die? Yes. As oh, and I also have stone to flesh. That's not as good. To, well, it's what is situational. That? That's a, I've never that, been that's, that's in essentially it. that's a that's a situational heal if anybody ever gets turned to stone. That's what that is. Or you could like make a, a wall that's stone into flesh and cut through it easily. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or floor. Uh, you restore prep tribe creatures to a normal state, or transform a stone object into a mass of inert flesh without the stoner's hardness. Exactly. So so it's like turn a wall into a flesh and then cut through. Right. Uh, it's gross. That is really horrible. Though. <laughs> I, I just just because it's so gross, I can't do it. Uh, dragon form. <laughs> I turn into a dragon, which cool, but that I'm, is uh, fucking cool as hell. It, it is cool, but I, I'm already turning into an elemental, so I don't need it. Uh, a poison attack, just to just to kind of round out the different damage types. What does this do? What is that? The uh, uh, purple worm sting. It is purple worm venom poison level eleven, maximum duration six rounds. Stage one does a bunch of damage and enfeebles. Uh, that is also kind of a save or die. Yep. Wow, I measured the stadium. It's a thousand feet by five hundred feet. That's the floor. That's just the floor of the stadium. I do kind of like the idea of taking field of life. I like the idea. Actually, I like the idea of taking field of life, especially considering what we're going into. Uh, for an, for an obtuse reason, because we're police, and if we're ever again in one of these situations where all of these little zero level NPCs are in constant threat of their lives, yeah, I can, can set that off. I can set that off alive. fire and forget. All they get all they need is a little heal to stop some effect. Exactly, maybe. exactly. Uh, what's the range on that? Uh, thirty foot, thirty foot range uh, and a twenty foot burst. Uh, all they need is love. Is that? 20 foot, wait, 20 foot radius or 20 foot? Yeah, what? Uh, uh, area 20 foot burst, which is 20 that's, foot radius, right? That's, oh, that's not work, good right? at all. That's not good at all. You don't think so? 20, f well, f look at this. I mean, just look at the stadium. That's, like, that's, a, that's, that's only four squares. Diameter. That's 10 feet well, across. I, I'm, I know. Not for, like, radius. Yeah, I agree. I, I like, I agree. For, I, I agree. For what that. about I'm like, but, fly? So maybe not in, is the, that on the, the list? in the specific case. If, if, but well, if, if Black yeah. Friday goes off, but. Uh, uh, oh, that's know, terrible! That's maximum sixteen uh, characters. If right, every right. single for, is forget forget the next yeah. forget, forget the next situation. <laughs> what I was about thinking, fly? Like in the future, for any situation that we've often come across, remember, remember the remember when the when yes. the bank heist, like or, you know, like the, the, we've come up in these situations. The where casino where too. Civilians yeah. are are in danger. I agree, but I mean, it's it's all right. So because all right. So what's better than that? What else do you got? I already got Chain Lightning, which seems to be the flat-out win. Yeah, Chain Lightning and is... Then I, and then I have several Savers as Dies, 
and one utility, true, true seeing, which I think we got enough of out of the things that we don't really need it. And I got uh, the Tangling Creepers, that's us that gets... Honestly, I don't know if there's anything really else that's better. Fire Seeds. Four acorns grow in your hand. There are shells doing things. Nah, I have so many other things to blast stuff with. I'm not going to be carrying around little fiery acorns. But they don't. They don't have like fly or anything like that. Or, or it, it would be nice. It would be nice. They I don't. Have that, or cloud no. step or something. No, I'm just looking at my list right here. I, I, really I like the idea of the save or die. You like the save or die? Having something in that in that category. It yeah, can, it can turn the tide immediately. Because also, well. well also, it's good for a low-level thing that's screwing with our, you know, screwing with the program. Just knowing that we can eliminate the thing's pet, you know, or the summoned creature that it brings in just immediately that that's not going to impede our progress. It's not going to block us. We're knowing that we can just, like, cancel something out. Oh, you know what? Actually, maybe flesh the stone because... Uh, uh, that's the only why... That the is only... my... Yeah. I yeah, like because that. because on this one I notice on this one the only time they're not affected at all is on a critical success. Even right. if they make their save, they are slowed one for one round. So oh, so, the, so yeah. at the very least we could slow something down for a round. All right, so I think that's the winner then maybe. So what's what what does that do? Does it slow them or does it uh, like no, 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 that's on a success. Okay. Critical success unaffected, success target is slowed one for one round. Failure Target is slowed one and must attempt a fortitude save at the end of each of its turns. This ongoing save has the has the incapacitation trait. On a failed save, the slowed condition increases by one or two on a critical failure. Uh, a successful save reduces the slowed condition by one. Uh, I see what they're going with this. And when uh, a creature is unable to act due to the slowed condition from flesh to stone, the creature the creature is petrified permanently. So so they are turning into stone, and they either slowly fight it off over the rounds or slowly I succumb it. to it over the rounds. I and love it. They they either shake it off eventually or they turn to stone. All right, I like I'm that. for it. I, yep. I like right, that more than than chain lightning. Even. I I agree. I agree. That's a winner. Chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Choice added. I, I like it so much, I'm writing it down to include in my fifth book. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm giving it to one of my characters in my story, so. You've been listening to Roll for Combat, Agents of Edgewatch. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at RollForCombat.com. You can also find us and play various games on our Discord channel at discord.rollforcombat.com.